Hey, hey, hey! How's it going, guys? My name is Frosty Espresso, and today I am here to celebrate our halfway milestone to 1,000 subscribers. Holy cow! Um, I was not expecting this to come anytime sooner, but, uh, you guys are amazing, and we're over 500 subs, so that's amazing. Um... So, for this 500 sub special, I, I started to say, but I really didn't plan on doing anything special besides I did a little hype video with uh, me doing a phantom montage, which uh, didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to, but you guys loved it anyway, which, I, which I'm like, okay, wow, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I know I do better with, like, with Phantom and all that, but, oh well, what am I gonna do? And, um, I guess the, this, this, uh, background footage I'm gonna end up using is two different matches that I, uh, was playing Thunder with, because after playing Phantom for an entire week, it was just an absolute nightmare. <laughs> like, every, like, every couple matches I would just rage, and I'm just like, yep, I'm done playing Dirt Bomb for the day. So... <laughs> Because of, you know, how uh, Phantom is right now, he, he's not really in a good place. But, I do want to talk about him later, but um, for now, I want to get back to with my uh, channel and stuff. So, um, yeah, uh, so if you haven't noticed first off, um, I got a new profile picture that I'm using across all my social medias, thanks to uh, a uh, Twitter user, no... The Sydney Butsy or the Tambri in the community, they make amazing Dirty Bomb arts and etc. And I highly suggest checking them out. I'll put them in the uh, link in the description so you can check them out, follow them, and you know whatnot. Pretty cool dude. Do, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, um, not only that, but I started. If you didn't know, I uh, I started to stream a little bit on Twitch. Um, if you guys did not see the notification about, um, like one or two weeks ago, I tried to attempt to stream, and I'm surprised it actually was pretty successful. Um, I had about 10-15 viewers, at, like at most, and over like 35 some followers, which I'm glad to see that some of you guys turned up. That's amazing, and I thank you guys for that, because I just want to experiment around with, um, different software, because I do want to talk a little bit more about that in more deep into the video but um i'm hoping to stream again but when probably whenever the new dirty bomb update comes live known as the melee mayhem update um so far i haven't there's there was yeah i mean there was that one dev video that was that was showing off you know the skins and everything but they said oh next week well it's next week and i haven't really seen too much and I'm recording this on Monday, so uh, apologies if I say some stuff in here that it's like, but it already happened, or it did not happen yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> so I apologize for that. Um, I'll put a link in the description too if you do want to just you know follow me on Twitch so you guys can get the notifications there instead of just YouTube because um, right now I do not want to stream on YouTube because I rather have embedded streams so you guys could you know pick whatever settings to watch my stream streams in because I don't want you guys being forced to watch a higher end quality uh, stream and then you guys can't watch it and make you guys sad so I highly suggest just going on to Twitch when I make put up a notification I'm doing so so no worries like I said I got a notification video when I say I'm streaming you guys can click a link there if you have if you decide not to follow until I start streaming because whatever reasons cool on you um and I, speaking of which, I talked about recordings. Um, so I've been having a little bit of difficulty, which explains why I haven't been, parts of the reasons why I haven't been uploading as much as I wanted to, besides life complications, because I'm about to get out of high school and stuff. So, you know, life's gonna start getting a little bit more complicated for me to do my thing. So, um, Trust me, I'm not going to be quitting YouTube or anything. I'm going to try my hardest to upload much videos as I can for you guys. Because I, I do want to keep up with this. Because you guys love me and I love you. So, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll try keeping up the work as I can. 
but pressure pressure and times against me but I'll be able I'll, I'll hopefully uh, keep myself in order but back to recording software so I've been having problems recording I had to go back from Windows 10 to 7 not only was I having problems installing updates and stuff but my computer in general just doesn't like 10 so I moved back to 7 and things seem to be working out just fine except now shadow play is starting to act up a lot more than it did before on uh that i did on 10 because that's the software i've been using for the longest time and that's why i asked you guys in my last uh video the man the phantom montage i made a little poll thing saying hey what do you guys like prefer me to use well to be honest at this point i'm probably gonna only use um shadow play even though how buggy it is because sometimes the audio works sometimes it doesn't sometimes it'll start to record and sometimes it may not and it's a combination of both and then it's like frustrating and i'm like ah i'm gonna lose my head so i'm only going to be using it as um recording software because i could record in the high settings and dirty bomb and i have an issue while with um, the other software I use, OBS, or slash known as Streamlabs OBS, because they're, they're technically identical, my computer just gets eaten up. Because apparently, I don't have a good enough of a computer to play within the highest settings how I do with Shadowplay, because Shadowplay, what's beautiful about it is, all the recording and all the processing happens all inside of the graphics card. So... And without a capture card, it's kind of difficult with um, OBS. So I'm only going to be using OBS as my streaming software. And, you know, it only makes sense. Because I tried to stream with uh, <laughs> Shadowplay and it kind of didn't work out. My recording, my streams kept cutting out and I was like, ah, I'm done. So I had, I had no choice but to, you know, degrade on what I want to do. So, yeah, I apologize if, you know too that like some of the quality of my videos may go down or sometimes up but it seems like when I render out on uh, Vegas my videos seem to turn out just fine but most of sometimes oh and oh yeah shadow play it likes to to make your uh, microphone sound uh, not as clear as it, like I'm recording now on uh, Streamlabs. My voice should sound a little bit more clear than uh, it did on Shadowplay. And that's the only other thing I don't like about it. But you do get great footage. So, uh, you know, there's nothing I can really else do with this uh, machine that I have. So, and I guess some other things I do want to, I guess the main topic I do want to talk about in this video I kind of want to talk about a little bit about Dirty Bomb in its current state because it seems like a lot of us have been negatively attacking this game a little bit more frequent ever since uh, about a whole month back. And it's kind of breaking my heart a little bit that I'm just seeing the community tear this game apart a bit. And I know, guys, Splash Damage has a part fault with it, and we also have a part fault of it because of us you know constantly beating up you know noobish players and then we're not helping them out it's like we're not taking a lead as you know as veterans of this game and not only that there's a huge you know like skill gap to you get the point gameplay wise but community wise i understand the frustration that yes there should be some things that should be added into the game and sd just discards it like not like it's nothing I mean, th there's some other things too, like, you know, like the private testers. I hear all the time from some of my friends that tell me, hey, I have this guy in the private tester, and uh, they never listen to him, her, whatever, you know? And it's it's like, then what's the point of, you know, private testing if you're not going to even listen to all the advice that your private testers tell you? And then they, you know, they roll out these updates, and then no one's happy with them, and they're mad. <sighs> See how you, so that's how you could see it's you know part of SD's fault and what it, what's our fault in our end is the amount of toxicity and responses that we do. I just wanted you know be just bring up the awareness of this because this game is starting to get into a dark it's getting to a really really deep dark time that I really wish this game was not heading into but it is. And trust me guys, I, like I said, I am not leaving this game. I, I'm, I'm not going to be leaving this game, okay? Trust me. I'm not going to leave this game until everyone 
gives up hope onto this game. Not just us as a community, but including the developers and the main support just of this game in general. If it's just gone, you know, what I'm trying to say is, until this game uh, is no longer active, it's done for, like how old, how old games end, that's the day I quit. Unless there is something that that is far beyond frustrating, everyone wants to quit at that point. You know, and I just, I, it's really sad to, to think about these things, especially that I'm starting to get, you know, far up into subscriber amounts, and, you know, it, I mean, the thing is, I do want to talk about, like, 1.0 of why, you know, I feel like this game should not be into 1.0, but I don't want to really give up my full reasons until there's more, there's more information I can provide telling you what, guys why I feel like this game shouldn't be in 1.0 yet. Until the day that SD announces that Dirty Bomb is heading into 1.0, that will be the day when I'm going to record and state a nice list of things why um, Dirty Bomb shouldn't be in 1.0. 1, 1 because currently how it is, I really don't feel like it should because uh, the stuff I stated before and some other things including miscommunications between everyone to people not understanding what SD is trying to do with actions and stuff to you know and one other thing though that I really do want to talk about is the toxicity in this game because I swear to god I know it's in every other game but due to how small the smaller the population of Dirty Bomb is like to oh uh, you know counter strike you, you know big mainstream games right but just for the amount of people that are active and the amount of people that do act toxic I feel like Ever since the last month, ever since some of the actions SD has did and uh, took action with, a lot of us seems to be just making negative comments about everything. But not everything, uh, you guys, every, not, not, not everything that SD is doing is bad. Trust me. There's some things that just that needed to happen. For example, like uh, the RAD system that, that's coming out with this next update. I actually like it because it just makes um, everything a hundred times easier to do instead of having to, oh, I need this exact type of item and I need, the, need it like, you know, 10 crafting kits to make a cobalt. Now it's just into a currency. You know, and I see other games that do this and I respected the, the uh, decisions, but what's unique about splash damage is with Dirty Bomb, they're actually giving you stuff if you do want to purchase rads and it looks like rads will be easily obtainable, so don't sweat about it. You, you guys should be earning not only that I think I saw something about you could buy prime cases with uh, rads but oh well looks like I could be ranting on about all this but I just really wanted to make this video just to say um thank you guys for you know 500 subs and um, I do want to hopefully get a whole to one whole thousand because we're halfway there guys we're halfway there so Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this video off saying uh, once again Thank you guys for being amazing people spreading my uh, su for spreading so some uh, support for my channel uh, Everything else and I really uh, I really uh, respect you guys that uh, you know like talk to me or whatever so Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it up here. This is Frosty Espresso saying Thank you for the mucho loves and keep on spreading it because this game really needs it right now. So, peace out.